This place is special. Mountains are crazy cool. A lot different than Logan. Pretty excited. I'm gonna go down the road and find a spot to park and sleep in the back of the truck and I'll be on the trail bright and early. Here we go. We went a backpacking trip solo, June 12th, 2020. Gonna be pretty awesome. Look at this place, it's so cool. Those mountains back there, I'm gonna hike back into that one on the left. The lake that I'm doing is behind that. This place is sweet. Don't know why I haven't come here before, but gonna have to make it be a regular thing, I think. This place is so cool. This is sweet. I'm gonna go to Ryder Lake, camp out there, and then tomorrow I'll come back and go to Amethyst Lake. So, let's we'll see how that goes. This place is super awesome, man. Love it. Giant river. Just pouring through. I'll have to cross it up here somewhere, I'm sure. Beautiful. It's 8 in the morning and it's probably about 55 degrees. It's like perfect hiking weather. So, yep. So I bought a Helionox chair and uh, the best thing ever. This is awesome. It only weighs one pound. So, it's going with me everywhere because, man, it is comfy. Well, we gotta cross this. That'll be interesting. A little beaver dam thing there. I might be able to go across and maybe go to the trees. Going pretty quick. Well, wish me luck. Well, I crossed that just fine. That wasn't too bad. Kind of sketchy, but it was a really stable tree. So that's good news. You gotta undo your belt on your backpack in case you fall. So if you fall, your backpack doesn't hold you under the water. Haven't ever fell though, so that's good. Look at this. Tell me how how does this puzzle happen naturally? Like, seriously. That's pretty wacko. Jigsaw puzzles in nature.
11.40. I stopped for about 45 minutes back there and took a nap in my chair. I ate some lunch, but pretty close to the lake now. I think less than a mile. We're up to some snow spots and stuff. There's so much water here. It's crazy. Like every 20 feet, I swear, there's a stream or something to cross, but this trail follows this little river up, I'm assuming to the lake, so but these mountains are so cool. There's this big one right here. I think it's called Spread Eagle Peak, which is hilarious to me. I might go to the top of it tomorrow, maybe we'll see. and you can hear frogs. Hopefully the wind's not too loud. There's like a ton of frogs in this little basin. on it. Ryder Lake, Hyuenas, Utah. It is June 12th, 2020. Backpacking up here. Man, that is amazing. And the best part is there's a camp spot that's snow free right here. So I'm just gonna call this home for just living the dream sitting here in the sun on my chair right next to a frozen lake oh yeah there's a waterfall over there you can't see and there's a bunch of open water so I'm gonna go over there and fish it after I take a nap 10 miles Long ways in here, but man, it is pretty. Got the tent set up. Just took an hour and so nap, it was wonderful. But uh, yeah, it's windy. Starting to get some clouds, so it might rain on me, which would be pretty much expected it to rain to be honest like even though it said it was gonna rain I was like yeah, it's gonna rain it's the witness so I got some clouds but I'm gonna go over there to that waterfall and where the open water is trying to fish before it gets too crazy <laughs> look at that second cast it's the old MEPS number two He's going back, but man, what a spot to catch a fish. <laughs> Sweet. Got another one. See him swim on the way back. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. You're right on the edge. Don't go that way.
got here at 12.40 and it's 5.30 right now. And I don't know if you'd notice, but there is like no ice on this damn thing anymore. <laughs> it's all melted in like five hours. I'll uh, put two pictures together and compare, but that's crazy. I was sitting on that bank over there fishing. And I was just watching ice chunks break off and then just move with the wind and then push them around. It was super cool. But yeah, all this, like this was all ice. There's no way I could fish all this until about uh, right here and this way I could fish. But now, I mean, half the lakes free of ice. That's cool. There's a giant little waterfall going over there. There's so much water up here. It's crazy. And I walked up there just like from basically from this waterfall all the way over to that one. It's just a big old river basically. You have to pick your way through. It's super cool. Well, it's morning time. Making me some breakfast. I can sit in my chair in my tent. It's still windy. It blew like crazy all night, but I slept pretty good. Well, good morning. Wow. Beautiful. Nothing like a cup of joe in the middle of nowhere by a lake. Looks like it got below freezing last night. Cause all this was, there's a little bit of ice in there and there was no ice yesterday. Waterfall died down. It'll probably pick back up soon, as soon as it starts to warm up some more. Awesome. Heading back down. Not sure quite yet if I'm gonna go to another lake and stay another night, but we'll see what happens. It's cool how they mark the trails here with the eye. About every 40 or 50 feet, it seems like, usually there's a tree that's been carved out.